guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video where today we'll be going to watch Cardiff versus Wolves in the Premier League. Friday night fixture, Wolves haven't won their last six matches, which could, you never know could give us assistance, but we are Cardiff and normally we're the, we're the team who loses those sort of games. Um, I'm hoping for a draw in this one. If we get a draw, then I'll be happy. If, if, I get a, if we get a win, then we'll be ecstatic. Once again, I am joined as normal by this man. Good, good legend. Subscribe to his channel in the description below. Yeah, so quite an interesting match tonight. Not sure what the team lineup's gonna be. Hopefully it'll be something the same as Everton, which of course we got cheated out of in my opinion. We should have at least got a point in that game, especially with the penalty decision and we should have taken a few more of our chances. But anyway, let's just hope we can get something out of it tonight. What's your thoughts? We thought, well, this is a massive opportunity for Cardiff to gain three points this evening. Remember, we were at that game, that infamous game at the, at the end of last season where Cardiff missed two penalties and all that who were all with the, uh, the after, um, after on-pitch um, through roll between Warnock and uh, Nuno. And the family stand and yeah, the all that fans. sort of stuff. But yeah, it's, um, it's going to be a difficult game. Wolves going to want to come and um, try and beat Cardiff again. But uh, I think Cardiff got every opportunity, as we said, to get the three points. Uh, predictions wise, as I've said in the predictions video, I'm going for a 2 1 victory to Cardiff. I went for a 2 0 victory. I think I, I think if I'd, if Warnock puts out the right defence tonight, and if the defenders are up for it, I think we can keep a clean sheet. And if we play the if we play the right players up front, Callum Patterson has his scoring boots on or his heading boots on. I don't think that's possible. But anyway, let's just hope he play, he has a good game tonight. Mendes Lang might be back as well. Probably uh, on the bench. I, I imagine he'll be on the bench. I don't I don't really want him on the pitch today, just in case he damages himself even more. And we got three games in eight days. So three games in eight days. days. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And uh, I'm not sure about the whereabouts of Kenneth Savoy. We're just gonna have to wait for the team to come out. And that will be out in half an hour. Come on, City. Okay, team news just been announced. Quite a peculiar lineup tonight. Effridge and goal back three of Bamba, Morrison, and Manga. Then in midfield, we've got Camarasa, Arta, Rolls, and Gunnison. Rolls and Gunnison are probably going to play in the mid middle, while, while Camarasa and Arta are going to play on the left and right. And then the front three this evening are Junior Hoylett, Josh Murphy, and Callum Patterson up top. On the bench, we've got the likes of Smithies, Peltier, Bennett, Bennett, the return of Nathaniel Mendes-Lang, uh, Danny Ward, good to see him back as well, and Kadeem Harris, who's been impressing in recent weeks. Kenneth Sahor, no sign of him this week. Uh, Greg Cunningham has been dropped by the looks of things, either that or he's struggling with injuries. But anyway, quite a, quite a peculiar team. We did use it last time out. I think I can see why, though, because we know about... Um Wolves is flying wing back, so I think the team is there to counter that. Yes, you heard it there from him first, but I think we have a chance of winning tonight.
10 minutes gone, kind of had many chances, very, very unlucky in my opinion. Uh, could, have, could have at least been maybe one or two nil up, but <laughs> not, not that many, but we have, we have had the chances. Better than we so far, but um, yeah, we've got a corner now. Uh, one of the world's best on down in the box. Yeah, well planned! Yes, get in the corner there. Oh, Wait, what? Oh. Another blind referee, I see. Oh dear. Mistakes by Carly, ripped in the corner. Efforts made a good save, but we just couldn't keep it. Should have got ahead of it, good save by um, Etheridge, but terrible, just uh, didn't get first to the ball then after that save. Amazing shot off the post by Harry Arthur, very close, but then Camarasa smashes over the bar, very, very unlucky, playing really good football at the moment. Almost there, almost a goal. Okay, so that's the end of the first half, Cardiff's performance has been, let's just say hasn't been as good as in previous weeks, we haven't been getting the ball up the pitch fast enough. But if we can do that in the second half, then we might have a chance of scoring a few more goals. Um, we did have our chances, we haven't taken them, get in the corner here and there, but we have to watch Wolves on the counter at the same time as well. But anyway, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah, Cardiff um, passes going astray here and there, but Cardiff had a couple of chances as well. Oh, it's a hit in the post. Camarasa, our air shot. Um, as you said, though, we've got to watch the Wolves on the break. Apart from that, though, it's fairly even. Just got to put these back chances away and get closer to Patterson. But yeah, come on, roll on second half. We still go for this 2-1 victory to Cardiff, though. Come on, Blue Birds. Amazing shot by Harry Arson. Very unlucky not to convert. Here we go again, come on.
the whistle, use it, man. What a win, uh, just Junior Hoyler, amazing, man of the match. I don't know what to say really, that was a brilliant performance at the end. What's your thoughts? Oh, superb. It was a little bit scrappy first half. And Cardiff pulled everything out. The crowd got behind the team. Uh, Gunnarsson popped up with a goal, similar to their goal really. Um, scrappy goal, but he smashed it in the back of the net. And wow, Hoylet, you just got to see Hoylet's goal. Took it first time, curled it. I think he hit the crossbar and smashed down into the into the net. Um, absolutely superb. Cardiff hold on for two one. That's the second um, victory at home on the trot. Two one as well. And um, out of the relegation zone. Well, this evening anyway. We'll have to wait until Saturday afternoon to see if they slip back in. But for now, yeah, Cardiff can celebrate and look forward to Tuesday night against West Ham. Let me guess, Junior Hoyler, your man of the match? Um, no, I would say it's very difficult. I'd say Gunnison, maybe. Mm, oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm going to say Junior Hoyler for this one. I thought he had a very good game coming back into the Cardiff side. Yeah, I thought first half he was, because mm, of the way he cut the formation, three at the back, and I think it was Hoyler and Camarasa sort of playing as makeshift wing backs, you could say, and he, he didn't look comfortable first half, but second half, he, he played very well, uh, Hoyler. Awesome. Moving on to West Ham on Tuesday now. Uh, quite short, quite a short changeover between the fixtures down in London on Tuesday. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we could get at least a point out of it, not, mm, even though it's one of the games you, I guess you could sort of write off, but, Maybe, maybe you could get a draw out of it, and someone's, stro uh, oh, and yeah. someone's in the wrong lane. And now we're back in the right lane. But anyway, packed Christmas season. Um, we've got some good fixtures coming up. Let's hope we can get some points. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like. And if this is the first ever video seen by me, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button for more super content like this and turn on post notifications so you don't miss an upload. And I will see you all in the next video. Au revoir.